Hi, this video is for the families of seniors at Decatur High School in Mr. Abernathy's English Language Arts class. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through expectations for this week, uh, what students are being asked to do. It should be fun. I think it's always fun. Um, I love hearing from the students that we've heard from so far, uh, either in office hours or have been posting on Canvas. Um, so let's keep that up. Hope to see more next week. So right off again, this is for the week of May 4th through May 8th. Uh, we're hitting a couple standards here. Uh, W3D um, having to do with sensory language and creating um, experiences with words and L5 using figurative language. Um, if that didn't allude to it, we are definitely doing poetry this week. Uh, we're wrapping up our poetry unit. We started in um, maybe even February. So students are hopefully somewhat attached to these poets they've been working with and feel confident in doing an imitation of these poets. Uh, that's what they're being asked to do this week. Um, is do a write like. So again, a copycat poem, an, an imitation poem. So right off the bat, they are looking at that same poem they did last week. If your student uh, didn't do the work last week, I'd say jump back, do that first, then come back and do this. Um, that's still up on Canvas. It'll just be under a different module for past weeks. Um, so they are gonna look at the poem they looked at. They're gonna identify five things. Uh, poetic elements, you know, similes, metaphors, fancy um, you know, po poetry things uh, that we've talked about in class, um, assonance, that sort of stuff. Uh, then they're looking at diction. So, right, what uh, words is the author choosing? Do they convey a certain tone? Um, are they very distinct, right? Are they discipline specific? Uh, then we're looking at form. What's the poem actually look like on the page? Does it make a shape? Does it kind of all stick right next to the margin? Is it all over the place? Then they're looking at rhyme scheme. Even if there's not a rhyme scheme, they can still look at patterns in the word sound. So that's why it's important to have the poem read out loud, um, right? Even if it's not a sonnet and it, you know, doesn't go like an A, B, B, A pattern, they can still look at some little internal rhymes. Um, or suffixes that sound similar. Uh, then finally, we're looking at themes, which is what we focused on last week. Um, so they should be familiar with this and identifying a theme and being able, able to differentiate that from a topic. Uh, if that's confusing, uh, they can go back to last week's and look at our resources on that. Um, then they are going to, using those distinguishing elements that they analyze um, on the poem, and they can either mark up the poem in Canvas or probably more practically as a Google Doc and just share that Google Doc. Um, then they can add on a stanza of at least eight lines, right? Stanza is a part of the poem. They're adding their own of at least eight lines or they're going to craft an original entire poem uh, using those elements, right? So if they notice that the poet rhymes a bunch and only talks about flowers, maybe they're gonna write their own po poem where they rhyme a bunch and talk about flowers. It's probably not as obvious as that. It's a little more nuanced that they'll have to do some work. So then finally, students will uh, briefly address, right? We're not writing a paper, but you're going to have to touch on each topic. Um, uh, which elements of the original poem did they bring into their own work? So this is, I think, maybe asking a lot or a little confusing. So uh, Mrs. DeVos, the other 12th grade teacher, and I both wrote our own example of the entire assignment um, so that students can look at those if they're confused. So there's a link here to mine and a link to Mrs. DeVos's there. So if we actually go to our Canvas page for seniors, uh, we try to spice it up, add some color, add some font changes, that sort of thing, make it uh, appealing. So I also included here, the only difference is I included a document that we created together in class for just like, if I'm struggling to even read a poem, like what should I be looking for? Why don't I get it? Um, these were tips we created as a class that we put um, together in a PDF. Let's see, did we add anything else? No, so I, I'd say the most important thing is 
spend some time looking at these examples, right? So they're, your student isn't doing the Wendell Berry or Langston Hughes poem um, that we used as examples. They're doing the same poem from the poet they did last week. So E.E. E. Cummings, Sonia Sanchez, or Carolyn Forche were their options. Um, they're doing those. So that's the assignment. Um, hopefully it's not too complex. Again, office hours are Mondays 10 30 to 11 for seniors if they need to hop on uh, from 10 to 10 30 you know maybe they have something later in the day uh, when I meet with juniors they can still do that um, and I'll try to get to them then again I'm also open uh, by email up here and Google Voice I can't figure out how to make it have it make my phone ring when you call so it's important to leave a message so I can uh, call back and know who I'm talking to um, yeah, but email dings my phone. I'll pr definitely get it. And if it's before like four o'clock, I'll reply that day. If it's, um, later in the evening, I'll probably end up replying uh, the following morning. Other than that, um, it's been great to see the students that have been doing office hours that have been posting on Canvas. And I really hope, um, to hear from more of you, uh, your students, and I hope everything's going well. If there's anything you or your families need, um, Federal Way Public Schools definitely has given us a lot of resources to give families. Um, so if there's anything you need, just reach out and we can do our best to connect you with those resources. Um, but we miss our students very much um, and we hope to see them soon.